exclusive from WDSU Investigates today. For the first time, we are hearing from a Kenner ice cream truck driver who is accused of killing a 12 year old boy. Police say the driver plowed into the family's apartment. WDSU investigative reporter Aubrey Killian just spoke to that driver who is out on bond tonight. Aubrey. Hey there, Gina. So, of course, this is a story we followed closely. 71 year old Miguel Mansour was tight lipped today. He told me that he's been crying and praying. For the first time, we're hearing from 71 year old Mikel Mansour. What would be your message to the 12 year old's family? You know, I feel very sorry. I've been crying most of the time. What caused the crash, sir? I have no clue, sir. I just, the van just went so fast. I really don't know what happened. Kenner police say Mansour is the driver of the ice cream truck seen in this surveillance video from May 20th. The truck plows right into an apartment near Darmouth in Clemson. Police say 12 year old Javier Adrian Flores Fajardo was inside playing video games when he was hit. Police also say Mansour told them that the gas pedal malfunctioned and was stuck. Were you speeding at the time? No, no, just the van. I was so slow. Then the van suddenly went, went too fast. Police say it was determined that the pedal was not stuck. WDSU investigates also looked into whether he had a history of speeding. Kenner police say that he's only been issued speeding tickets twice in the last 16 years. They say neither was in the ice cream truck. However, the city of Kenner tells WDSU investigates that Mansour has never had the necessary mobile food vendor license to legally operate the truck. Why did you not have a permit for the ice cream truck? Um, it's my understanding, sir, you didn't have a permit for the ice cream truck. Sir, I can't talk to you right now. I'm sorry. I really can't. Uh, my lawyer told me not to talk to anybody. Would you, like to, uh, would you like to talk to the, share a message to this, the boy's family? I feel very, very sorry. I've been crying for them and I've been, uh, I've been praying for them. I really feel so sorry for, for them. Did you have a medical emergency? When? At the time of the crash, did you have a medical emergency? They took me to the hospital, yes. Is that what caused the crash? No. What caused the crash? I told you the van just went too fast. Sir, I can't talk to you. I'm sorry. WDSU investigates also obtained this police record that outlines what happened the day of the deadly incident. The report states Fajardo was under the ice cream truck. Fuel was also leaking from under the vehicle. Mansour was pulled out of the wreckage. The report later states that Fajardo had a strong pulse and was taken to Children's Hospital. After fighting for days at the hospital, Fajardo's family had to make a difficult decision. They donated his organs and will help save eight lives. And while police work to figure out how this happened, now his family is dealing with the unthinkable, planning his funeral. And of course, we spoke to the boy's parents yesterday. You can watch that emotional interview. It's right now on WDSU.com. Meanwhile, the suspect, he was released on a $100,000 bail. He does face a negligent homicide charge. Guys, back to you.